In the year 2020 it will be for 24 30 consecutive days. We share a pretty fair amount of genetic similarities with bananas. Late to the party but the one thing that makes me get a headache is that blind people do not see black. They see nothing. Try this. Try to see something out of your elbow. Or try to look at something behind you by seeing out of the back of your head. That is what blind people see. This fucks my mind every time I think about it. The questions what when and where can be answered by replacing the W in each word with a T. Trying to imagine a new color. There is a non-zero chance that a tornado could ravage a junkyard and create a functioning automobile. There's also a non-zero chance you could run full speed at a tree and pass through it. A woman with no daughters is the first woman in her line of ancestry since the beginning of time that doesn't have a daughter. Her mother had a daughter. Her grandmother had a daughter. Water, and so on. Breathing switch to manual, F you, and increased awareness of how your tongue is sitting in your mouth. You have a random itch somewhere. You can see your nose and some people can see their glasses. You're fucking me up. Inside your stomach, you're up. The final countdown is now playing in your head. Everyone has been an infant but no one really knows what it is like to be one. That if you tear a fishing net it has less holes. Looks great with small children. Catch them in a lie. Doesn't matter how small a lie. Then ask them to stick their tongue out. Tell them you can see that they're lying by looking at their tongue. After doing this a few times they'll totally believe that you can see if they are lying by looking at their tongue. When my kids really were innocent they'd come running with their mouths open to show me their tongues and how they aren't lying. When they are lying they would show as little of their tongues as possible. One little mind fuck and they roll over on themselves every time. You were at one point the youngest person on earth and you will be the last person to die in your lifetime. You are a brain inside of a skeleton your body is just a vessel like a vehicle for your brain. I'm a war machine. Graham's number is unimaginably huge in the sense that if you memorized all of its digits your brain would collapse into a black hole. Not an exaggeration. I know what I'm doing this weekend. Meth. Math. As another comment mentioned the fourth dimension I felt like it's better as a mindfuck to explain like this. To a two dimensional being like the characters in the original Street Fighter, their entire world exists in two dimensions. They can face two directions with no way of looking out of the screen. They wouldn't even be aware that there is a fourth wall on their world. So with this kind of logic we wouldn't even have any idea as 3D objects that there's a fourth dimension that has beings that are capable of looking in on us. It's not even something we can reasonably envision like a window looking through dimensions. It's something so foreign and alien that we can only describe it with the above analogy of 3D people viewing 2D objects. The word okay is just a stick figure laying on its back. Haha <laughs> can never run C. Bed is an alphabetical illustration of itself. OGC is a guy wanking. My life has new meaning. The word boob is in sequence boobs as viewed from the top then the front then the side. Red rhymes with lead and read rhymes with lead. But red doesn't rhyme with lead and read doesn't rhyme with lead. Sean Bean's name not rhyming is the S or the C and sent silent. If you ask someone would you do something for $10,000 and they say yes, they would probably do that same thing for $9,999, $9,998 and so on. At what point would one dollar below what they agreed to be too little? Did you know that the human brain will completely skip over the second V in this sentence? You don't choose your thoughts. They occur and you are the experience of them after they've happened. Last Thursdayism. The theory that the universe was created last Thursday but was created to give the appearance of being billions of years old. You were created with memories going back to before the universe existed. Fossils were created as fossils not as dinosaurs etc. I believe it was originally created as an argument against creationism and there is also no way to disprove the theory. After all these years the pool on the Titanic is still full of water. When you put on your underwear inside out, the entire universe is wearing your underwear except you. If you sit on a voodoo doll of yourself would you ever be able to stand up? It starts with a simple deck of playing cards. They seem harmless enough. 52 thin slices of laminated cardboard with colorful designs printed on their sides. Yet is another illustration of the mantra that complexity begins from the most simple systems. The number of variations that these 50 to cards can produce is virtually endless. The richness of most playing card games owes itself to this fact. The total number of ways you can arrange the cards in a deck is 50 to times 51 times 50 all the way down to zero. Or 52 factorial. Here's what it looks like. Huge fucking number. This number is beyond astronomically large. 
I say beyond astronomically large because most numbers that we already consider to be astronomically large are mere infinitesimal fractions of this number. So just how large is it? Let's try to wrap our puny human brains around the magnitude of this number with a fun little theoretical exercise. Start a timer that will count down the number of seconds from 52 factorial to zero. We are going to see how much fun we can have before the timer counts down all the way. Start by picking your favorite spot on the equator. You're going to walk around the world along the equator but take a very leisurely pace of one step every billion years. Make sure to pack a deck of playing cards so you can get in a few trillion hands of solitaire between steps. After you complete your round the world trip remove one drop of water from the Pacific Ocean. Now do the same thing again. Walk around the world at 1 billion years per step removing one drop of water from the Pacific Ocean each time you circle the globe. Continue until the ocean is empty. When it is take one sheet of paper and place it flat on the ground. Now fill the ocean back up and start the entire process all over again, adding a sheet of paper to the stack each time you've emptied the ocean. The Pacific Ocean contains 707.6 million cubic kilometers of water. The equatorial circumference of the Earth is 40,075,017 meters. Do this until the stack of paper reaches from the Earth to the Sun. Take a glance at the timer, you will see that the three leftmost digits haven't even changed. You still have 8.063 e to the 67th power more seconds to go. So take the stack of papers down and do it all over again. 1000 times more. Unfortunately that still won't do it. There are still more than 5.385 e to the 67th power seconds remaining. You're just about a third of the way done. One astronomical unit, the distance from the Earth to the Sun, is defined as 149,597,870.691 kilometers. To pass the remaining time start shuffling your deck of cards. Every billion years deal yourself a 5 card poker hand. Each time you get a royal flush by yourself a lottery ticket. If that ticket wins the jackpot throw a grain of sand into the Grand Canyon. Keep going and when you filled up the canyon with sand remove one ounce of rock from Mount Everest. Now empty the canyon and start all over again. When you've leveled Mount Everest, look at the timer, you still have 5.364 e to the 67th power seconds remaining. You barely made a dent. If you were to repeat this 255 times you would still be looking at 3.024 e to the 64th power seconds. The timer would finally reach zero sometime during your 256th attempt. A royal flush occurs in one out of every 649,740 hands. Mount Everest weighs about 357 trillion pounds. Of course in reality none of this could ever happen. Sorry to break it to you. The truth is the Pacific Ocean will boil off as the sun becomes a red giant before you could even take your fifth step in your first trek around the world. Somewhat more of an obstacle, however, is the fact that all the stars in the universe will eventually burn out leaving space a dark ever-expanding void inhabited by a few scattered elementary particles drifting a tiny fraction of a degree above absolute zero. The exact details are still a bit fuzzy, but according to some reckonings of the reckoning, all this could happen before you would have had a chance to reduce the vast Pacific by the amount of a few backyard swimming pools. On top, food chain, won't stop, new game, hot box that blue haze, one lock, two chains, no bras, two bays, mic drop, new stage, lights in my rear view, 